Guys, I wanted to show you my limelight hydrangeas, how pretty they are. It is so hot that we're having to water everything so That's good. Kill me because I didn't water this morning because I have felt so rough. Look at the beauty of that. Is that not gorgeous? I need to get some and dry them. But aren't they beautiful? We moved them up against the house this year because they can take more sun than the ones we had here. And <clears throat> some of these are wilted down a little bit, but look at the lantana. My gosh, how gorgeous. I know I'm making a big shade. And of course this is closed up because it said too hot, too hot. It's beautiful in the evening. Flowers have done good this year. They've done good, even in this extreme heat. Oh guys, it is so hot. So hot. Look at this hair already curling. <laughs> Lynette Chapman told me she said mine does the same thing. You want to wear this straight hair, but you got just enough body. And y'all, I sweat so bad. Look at that. That's just unruly. It's because my hair, it's because I got so hot getting ready after get the shower. And I didn't wash it today. I should have. But whatever. I am um, headed to a late doctor's appointment. The same color y'all said you like so much. Almond Rose 565 and Maybelline. When I get stuck on lipstick, I usually wear it a lot. And can I just say, this is the first time since Sunday that I put on makeup. <laughs> been home this week. It's been an unusual week. Um, I just realized that this shirt is blue and white striped. And I thought it was black. And I've got on black capris. It's, you know, like little cotton capris. Hmm. So did not know that was blue. But I mean, really, who's going to pay a lot of attention to it? It's got some black up here. I'm wearing it. I don't have any blue cotton capris. I got just regular capris. And let's pray right now that this air conditioning. Oh gosh, I gotta have gas. I don't wanna go to this doctor's appointment, but it's a checkup and I need to go I've been having some major problems with my legs. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Y'all say, can you get on here one time and not tell us what you're having a problem with? I know. But I am blessed. And I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Some of my parts don't work as good as they used to. But I'll raise these sore hands and praise the Lord. <laughs> Oh, me. I have been listening. I told y'all about Todd White on the video the other day. I watched his videos off and on all day yesterday, and I'm telling you, he just cranks my tractor. <laughs> you ever heard that Southern saying? I think it's a country song, too, isn't it? I don't listen to country music. Um, but he cranks my tractor spiritually. My, oh, my, oh, my. The man walks the walk that he talks. Gosh, he is amazing. And so I listened to him a lot yesterday. And who I'm listening to on pro on podcast is Francis Chan. So you can say I'm not a podcast listener. Well, listen to him when you're in the car. Listen to him when you're getting ready. That's what I've been doing all morning after getting out of the shower. Just go to the podcast, Crazy Love. And if you don't know how to do that, just go to your podcast app. Whoa, there's a big truck coming. He came flying around the curve. You need to slow down, big buddy. You're going way too fast on this road. I mean, I looked and he wasn't there. I started pulling out. He's coming. There's a big dump below our house. That's where he's coming from. But he better slow down because I'm not speeding up for you. Um, but you got a podcast app 
or if you don't have it already on your phone, you can just go to your apps, do podcast, and then just go on there and do a search for Crazy Love. That was a book that he wrote years ago. And as a friend of mine said, Suzanne, he, when he told me about it, I read the book years ago, but when he told me about the app, he said, just scroll all the way down to the bottom, and I think it goes to like 2015. And he said, scroll all the way down to the bottom and just start on his, um, he does a lot of um, seminars, camp meetings, sessions, whatever, I don't know. And he said, just go to the bottom and start working your way up. Because he said there's so much good meat down there in the bottom in some of the stuff. And he's got some stuff on marriage and all that that I haven't listened to. Um, so, if you want a good podcast, listen to uh, Crazy Love by Francis Chan. He is quite amazing. So, that's what I try to do. I can't tell you the latest country songs. I have no clue whatsoever. Um, I don't listen to hardly any other music. And I mean, if you do, that's, that's your old business. That's fine. But I just like to spend that time of getting more of the word because then it just infiltrates my spirit and I can do it while I'm doing other things. It takes the place of me listening to music. It's really taken the place of me listening to a lot of praise and worship music. And I listen to praise and worship music. That's my number one thing is listening to praise and worship music. I just love it. I just love it. I am headed to Birmingham. It's 10 minutes till two. That's late to be going to Birmingham. My appointment's not till 3.20. I'm gonna probably go kind of like through where Ashley lives and sidetrack and get me a um, Chick-fil-A sandwich because I know it's gonna be so late. I ate breakfast about, I, I, I slept later this morning because I couldn't go to sleep last night. I didn't even lay down till 1.30, and I know I looked at the clock at 2.30. I just could not go to sleep. And so, uh, I slept later because of that. Lots of mornings I'm up at 5.30 if my feet and legs are hurting me. Uh, I don't even know, I don't even have um, a message coming on here this morning. I've, I've had a very uh, low energy week. I was with Mother Monday and Tuesday, just running over and running errands for her, picking up her medicine, picking up. I get her hearing aid batteries at um, Walgreens because you buy one, get one 50% off. I mean, is that not much I've been dying to know? <laughs> Were you not dying to know that? So, there's so many things in the house that needs to be done, that needs to be refreshed and revamped. I have not felt like doing it. I've sat on my tush way too much this week. Tooth is healed good. I've got a gaping hole. My jaw teeth must be ginormous because I have got a major hole back there. Uh, gotta keep the boys tomorrow. So I don't know how long uh, Ashley's daddy is coming into town. So he may come up there and get them before Michael gets home from work. I don't know. I don't really know what the plans are for that. So um, Sunday will be the last Sunday with pews in our church. <sighs> Very mixed emotions about that. I love pews in a church, but our carpet and our pews are mauve, and mauve went out about 25 years ago. Well, no, not that long. The church was built 25 years ago. Mauve probably wasn't popular about 15 years ago, but we're investing in chairs. They say they are big, tiny chairs. That's not what they say. That's not what Pastor called them wide seat chairs. Delete that. <laughs> kind of like the W that's in my clothing. <laughs> the girl at work used to say, you know, I bought one of those wide tops. And I said, oh, oh what, 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 excuse me? You bought what? 
And she said, one of those wide tops. And I said, what is a wide top? She said, you know, it's got like one wide, two wide. I was about ready to kill her. Just about the ready to kill her. So that stands for woman. That means we have a more curvy figure. <laughs> yeah, I gotta laugh. <laughs> she truly thought it meant you're one wide, you're two wide. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where was I before I said that? <laughs> oh, the chairs. <laughs> I don't even, oh my Lord, I'm just not in the mood to go to the doctor, y'all. I hope I don't get over here close to where Ashley lives and go to TJ Maxx and Hobby Lobby and go back home. <laughs> I do not want to go to the doctor today. I hate going to the doctor. I hate it. And I really, I'm laughing. Y'all always make me laugh. I guess I entertain my own self when I get on here and talk to y'all. But I don't like to drive to Birmingham. Now, and Lord, I've driven to Birmingham my whole life. I just don't like to go as much as I used to go. I mean, there's nothing exciting about going to the doctor anyway. He'll probably do a bunch of blood work. They'll have to stick me. It's so hard to stick me and to find my veins. I'm still recovering from that bruise from almost four weeks ago. Anyway. Don't touch me, Jesus. I love you. Um, the seats in the church. Yes. The reason we didn't keep the pews because the pews are beautiful and they've got gold plaques on the end of them in memory that we had put on the end and I told a um, lady on Facebook last night I wanted Ashley's grandmother's her daddy's mother's plaque and she said well you need to call the church office in the morning of course I forgot and Ashley's uncle on my side called this morning and got it it. So I told her, I said, just tell him that you wanted it and just tell him to take a picture of it and send it to you and we'll get you one made. Not quite the same, but as Janice says, same thing, only different. Um, oh, and y'all saw Janice in the um, video Sunday when I was holding rigs and singing. Y'all, somebody asked, is that Janice standing beside you? And I said, why, yes, it is my BFF. She, um, that's her place right there beside me. And um, she and I have not, we didn't get to go off this spring on our spring trip because this person said, I miss Janice. Uh, we didn't get to go to the condo because of the hurricane damage. And as you saw on the family vacation, we went to Splash was the name of the place we went in Panama City. Um, kids had a great time. And, um, so, but I told her, I think we're going to try to work out a September trip to go. I think we're going to try. And um, so we'll see. We'll see if that works out for us to go. Because we are going to Disney World in November. So that's going to be a big trip. And I still want to go back to New York so bad. Want to so bad. Anyway, the chairs. <laughs> We're getting chairs in the church because the pews had already been covered once before and people are not using pews anymore. They are using chairs and they're the cushion chairs. They're not the theater seats that flip up. Ashley has those at her church and I hate them. I absolutely hate them because it makes you so close. And even with these chairs, you're going to be closer, but they're... Even if somebody's not sitting in the chair next to you, you have a little bit more freedom than you do with the armrest on the theater chairs. But when they check the price on getting the pews covered, because the new carpet that we're getting is just like a taupe and a tannish, real modern looking, real, um, just real, um, you know, a beige -y color, just very non busy it's gonna be beautiful. We've already got it out in some part of the foyer, or part of the hallways. And um, so um, they'll, I guess they'll be just like a solid uh, neutral color like that. And so, but they say, Pastor said they, they are a big seat. God, I went from big seat to wide pants to, oh my gosh, am I, 
I, am, I have such squirrel moments. Uh, don't be sending me no stuffed squirrels. <laughs> if you do, I'm going to put them in the garbage. <laughs> um, but anyway, so it's it's a change. And, you know, there's been some people say, I don't want chairs. Well, I don't think Pastor did it. I got to get gas, y'all. Poo duty. I forgot to get gas. I'll get some up here. Don't let me forget to get gas, okay? <laughs> All right, y'all take care of me. When Pastor checked on getting the pews covered, it was going to be an astronomical amount because it is so much work. People are just not doing it like they used to. So we're going with chairs. And it'll be good that the chairs could be taken out for special events, I guess. You know, I don't know. They'll be hooked together, but they'll still be chairs. Now, it's, you know, it's taken me 20 minutes to tell you that we're getting chairs. But this Sunday will be the last Sunday with our pews and then we gave some pews away but because our pews are so long in the middle there were many churches that could not use them uh, so but they gave away what they could give away they offered to other churches if they needed them and I think some other just like organizations might be getting some of them but then um, Ashley and Michael are going to get one because they're going to have their back porch. My back porch is pretty full. I may still get one if there's one left, but they've got to be cut down. They'll have to be cut down, and what you do is you cut the end off of one. And see, Ashley wanted the one with her granny on the end of it, and she wanted that. Um, but anyway, so, but then you cut it down to the length that you want and then you put the end back on it. So John and I have a small one in the back hall that we bought in Tennessee that was a church pew from up the 1800s. We bought it at the Nashville flea market. So, but it's a little short and like a two seater. So see, she can make hers on her big back porch like to seat like four or five people. So it'd be good. Well, this has just been a rambled shook up, shake up, shake down type of video. Uh, are my glasses dirty or just reflecting? Because I just cleaned them. Oh, and I got to go to the eye doctor next week. And I hope to be getting new glasses. I know I'll be getting new glasses. So, I go there next week. The hot days of summer, I'm not crazy about. My air conditioner is working good, praise the Lord. The guys at the college worked on it yesterday. Um... I got in John's truck, he had left it for me to go over to Mother's, and when I got in it, it was 102 degrees inside. And then it only dropped to like 98. It's at 96 right now. No, 93 right now. Um, if you'll look where the uh, extreme heat is, you'll see North Alabama in it, and we're North Central, and it's, it's right where we are. And John's gonna kill me for not watering the flowers this morning, but I just had a rough morning, sorry. They'll make it one more day. I'll water them this afternoon. And um, extremely record-breaking um, temperatures. And the thing with living in the South, if you've never been to the South, we have such high humidity. Uh, it may be 107 in Las Vegas or in Nevada, but it's very dry. You don't even sweat. When we have, in the 90s here, we can have 80 and 90% humidity without it raining, and your clothes will be drenched. That's just a part of the South. I would be the kind of person who would do better to live in another part of the United States because I sweat so bad. But I'm just an Alabama girl, born and raised here, and I can't even imagine living anywhere else. So, um, I would like to be able to stay several weeks at a time when John retires in different states to see what all, because I just think different states are so interesting and how people live and where they live and we love the beach and I love the beach, but I don't want to live on the beach. I just like sweet home Alabama where the skies are so blue. Roll, tide, roll. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get off here. I have been chatting for 20 minutes now. And I'm going to stop and get some gas. Some gas. And I'm going to get some um, something to eat. A Chick-fil-A sandwich or some nuggets. 
and then take my happy self over to the doctor. Don't I sound so excited? Anyway, unless something really exciting happens at the doctor, this will be the end of this video. And you're like, praise God. <laughs> praise the Lord. This woman has rattled incessantly today. Oh, just make y'all just been making me laugh just talking to you. And you say, I haven't said a word. I know you haven't. It's just been me. It's just been good to talk to you. I love to talk to y'all. Your comments and all, I love. It takes me a while sometimes to answer all the comments. And, uh, but I love hearing from y'all. On my last one, just my God speech that he gave me this week, your comments were just amazing. And just me knowing that what God put on my heart to share with y'all is what you needed that very day is just amazing. Has nothing to do with me except for obeying what God told me to do. It has everything to do with me being a willing vessel for him to pour in me. And you know, some people may watch these videos and just get a, a laugh out of them or think it's silly or think it's stupid or, you know, I don't even advertise locally that I'm on it, I guess for fear of rejection or being made fun of. But uh, when there's times I get one comment that the Holy Ghost will just, whew, pour through me because I can feel what you're saying in that comment and it's worth it all. That's what we got to do guys is share the love of God because I'm going to tell you something, Jesus is coming soon. And as I said, a day is as a thousand to him. So we, we can't even anticipate what day it is. 